Hi guys, Natural Progressive. Um, sorry, the last video got cut off. Um, I just wanted to like do an extension because I didn't get to go through all of my last video. I ended at the Roost Out Garden. That this is our barn, and I just want to let people know if you are traveling through Utah, um, because I need to make a little extra money. Um, since I am off on disability, I'm making less than 75% of my actual income that I used to make. Um, probably gonna lease this out for, for nights or days to doomer type people like us. Anyway, so there's that. This is a fantastic place to stay. Um, there really isn't a restroom. So hopefully you're cool. Go and pee outside. Um, if you need to use the other one, you can go in the house for that. We have two restrooms in there. Okay, anyway, there's that. So let's go on to the rest of the garden. Everything's looking so beautiful right now. I love spring when all the trees have all their foliage. And look at this. I have a squash plant. I'm going to grow up this post on our our porch of our deck so that's gonna be fabulous it's a little yellow squash okay I'm gonna try to keep this camera as stable as possible um, yeah but like I was saying with, with my issues I need to find creative ways to make some money to survive so yeah that that barn will be up for for rent for people like you, I don't want just anyone staying out there. Okay, here is my three sisters garden. I'm so impressed, look how big that corn is. This corn has just grown so much. And then we had the beans in there. Those are butternut squash. The, the summer squash has gone freaking nuts in there. And of course, there's beans, you know, all throughout these. They're just looking fabulous. We have the dogs playing like crazy. My little niece, four-legged niece, Gracie is here to visit and wear out Willie. So, fun stuff. But here's a pair of tomato looking good. I'm going to have to go inside, but in the yard to show you the rest but I have a little bit of issues but with the plants but for the most part they're fairly healthy at the Crenshaw melons some purple basil chives everything's starting to come together I'm trying to do this really quick because I really hate doing the uploading long videos it takes for freaking ever hold on Crazy dogs! Crazy dogs! Hey bears! Come on, Taff Taff! Come on! Get in here! Get in! Okay, got our Taff Taff. Rosemary's getting big. Is that some cucumbers, I think. Shit. Oh no, those are Crenshaw melons. Big plant, looking good. Potatoes. I have another tomato. Actually, all my tomatoes got messed up in the seedling stage, so I'm not sure what type that is. But I know it's an indeterminate, so it'll probably grow pretty big. Um, artichokes, not doing too bad. This, I know, is a pear tomato starting to flower. So, happy about that. Um, let's see. Cantaloupe. Yeah, this is the cucumber. I gotta figure out what that is. If anyone knows what those little brown spots are, I treated it, but with some neem oil and some uh, dimixious earth. Anyway, my uh, bok choy has gone to seed. I've pulled most of it and harvested the seeds, but I have this one left. I'm gonna wait till it dries out. Okay. Going over here. I actually have some cabbages coming up. And then I have a, a tomato. 
that seems to be thriving right now. It's starting to get bigger. And it was kind of a volunteer, so volunteers are always a bonus. And then this is also a volunteer tomato. So cool. That's awesome. Ah, that's weed. Let me get rid of that. That's bad. That's a tree. And that's a tomato too. That's volunteer. These are ones I started from seed and getting bigger and better all the time. There's carrots in there. Who knows if they're gonna fully mature. So we have a cucumber. This is a cheater cucumber, but the insects automatically are drawn to that. So what do you do? Anyway, diagnosis are that's not that's not powdery mildew. That is diagnosis are that I have on there. And then our cherry tomatoes starting to produce really nice cherries. It's getting at the end of its life. So I've pulled a lot of the branches off the bottom just to control disease and, and such. Um, have another tomato there. Hopefully it has a chance to mature. Um, I just planted beans in these, two buckets, some bush beans, another tomato there, more bush beans in that, as, uh, Vermont, Vermont cranberry beans. Here's a squash, it's starting to develop some little squashes, if you can see, pretty fucking cool. So, sorry about my language, I can't help it. Um, have more tomatoes here. I'm gonna do the single vine approach and grow them up this trellis that is just an old gate that we've repurposed and we're making that a trellis to do some vertical gardening. They're growing pretty fast. Um, here we have lots of potatoes and these are just store-bought potatoes that we threw in the garden and they're just going crazy so you know don't ever throw away potatoes plant them in your garden it's not even too late right now i have carrots there back side of the carrots i have some pepper plants these are sweet peppers and they're improving they're getting better i have some more corn here this is another three sisters garden but i've really got to get in here and weed i've just had health issues so I haven't been able to weed as much as I'd like. There's raspberries and blackberries right there. I have strawberries in that turquoise container. I have my peas over here that it's getting a little hot for peas. So um, I don't know. They're probably not going to last much longer. So, I mean, this one's looking really green, but it's just not producing anything. So we'll see what happens. Let's go into the, the front. <clears throat> Hopefully I'm not making y'all too dizzy with this. Okay. This bed I just planted with pretty much, um... Oh my gosh. Asparagus, yeah. Asparagus and some arugula, I think. I don't know. We'll find out when it sprouts. Here's my herb bed. It's coming along. The bok choy. We've already been harvesting some of these greens for salads. Um, the sage is coming along really well. Cilantro is getting there. The dill is getting there. Um, there's some dill here in the oregano. I don't know how that happened. Um, but not much going on there. The time is slowly coming up. I also randomly put some, some beets in here. This place is like 20 degrees cooler than the rest of the yard. So I figured maybe. Anyway, asparagus burning out. <clears throat> So hopefully we get, next year we get some really good asparagus. Um, those little herbs that I had planted in the tiny little containers, I transplanted them here and they're going nuts. There's the cilantro. 
dill, thyme, and oregano. And then I have carrots planted all around the outside. And I don't know how well they'll do because it's going to get really hot here soon. So we'll just see. I'm just going to let them go. Um, in this bed, I have a pear tomato and I have, what is that, pink brandy wine. And then this is just one of the suckers I plucked off and I just planted next to it. And it looked like it was dead, but now it's coming back. It looks like it's developing roots and going great. So super happy about that. There are marigolds planted amongst this as well. Hopefully they start coming up soon. This is a pepper that I've been babying. I've been babying this one. It's like, you're going to survive. You're going to make it. Um, hopefully it does. I don't know. Anyway, then we have more asparagus. There's a strawberry plant. And what is this tomato? This is a... Uh, Mr. Stripey tomato. So... That one's looking pretty healthy, and here is a cayenne pepper. And then we have another pear tomato along with another cayenne pepper. So they're looking pretty good. Right here, I planted um, peppermint and chamomile, so and some cosmos. So I can't wait for these to start popping up. Hopefully they pop up soon another oh wait no this is another this is a uh what is it <clears throat> a early jalapeno that's looking pretty healthy to me i like it and this i don't know what it is it's a pepper but i don't know what type of what variety it was a mix seed packet so i'm not sure what it is here i pulled out all of my spinach i have some garlic in there but i think i planted most of them too deep you know live and learn but I do have all kinds of Swiss chard coming up. It's a rainbow variety of Swiss chard. So hopefully we'll have some greens going into the summer. There's also some remainders of spinach. So hopefully that does well. Anyway, I'm really happy with these bunching onions. We've been eating off of these and they're so fabulous. Loving, loving the green onions okay so that's pretty much what's going on we have some more stuff coming up but just super thrilled we're doing what we can do also okay here's the close-up of the strawberry plant I'm really hoping this takes off and takes over this whole bed but I do have some marigolds planted in here that I'm waiting to sprout okay guys that's probably enough um hopefully you enjoyed my little garden tour i love this time of year it's my favorite time of year and yeah <laughs> the puppies are playing i love it how that dog comes over and and plays with with willie tires him out so he doesn't bug us at night all right, guys, you have a good one, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.